Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea and I'm a sixth grade math and science teacher. I make DIY videos related to the classroom as well as taking you along with me on my journey through alternative path. So today's video is going to be my first day. Oh, I forgot my lip product at home. Today's just not the day. Okay. Today's video is going to be um, me vlogging my first day experience. Today is the first day of school. Um, right now it is 7.50. I got here way later than I wanted to um, because I had to go to Kroger to get my coffee and my oat milk. And as I got into the Kroger parking lot, I was like, I forgot my mask. And I washed all of my masks, even the one that kind of always travels with me. I forgot that one at home because I washed it last night. So I had to go back and get that and then go to Kroger and then come here. So I got here like 7.35, so my lights take a long time to turn off. Um, but yeah, I got here a little bit later than I wanted to, but that's fine. We don't have to be here until 8.30. I just like to be early. Okay, so yeah, today I'm just gonna vlog um, as much as I can. I will have kids on for pretty much all day. I do have a prep period, so. I'll catch you guys up then and during lunch, but yeah, um, I need to go over a couple of things that I want to do today. I need to put some stuff in my planner because I was going to do it last night, but I left all my pens here. So, um, let's put some stuff in my planner. I know I need to make some copies of my roster. I haven't even looked at my roster in a while. Um, that way I know all the kids' names and I can, we don't have to take attendance until tomorrow morning for today. Like we take daily attendance the next day because our kids are allowed to they have to log on um, at least by midnight and participate by midnight so um, I need to get my roster that way I can at least like talk to the kids and like know who they are <laughs> a little bit so I need to put my rosters um, and yeah I need to get some stuff set up for the morning I need to make a mute your mic page um, that I can show on my presentation because I'll have like a five minute intro and I need to um, make a list, not a list, I need to make a playlist. Let me get a pen. Current rosters. I need to, and I have until 921, until all of my kids, um, until I have my first kids because they go to like the 30 minute thing every morning that they would usually do with me in first period. Um, it's like our homeroom, but we're having the counselor, or they're having the counselors do it, which is kind of great. Gives you an extra 30 minutes in the morning um, that you wouldn't normally have if we had kids in here. So I need to print rosters. I need to make a playlist. I like to play music in my classroom. Oh, I need to upload a photo of me to my um, like avatar for Google Meet so that way they see my face. Okay, so I have quite a bit to do this morning, but I have time to do it if I just relax. I'm very nervous about today. I've never done a first day before. It's like, even when I was district seven, I think I came in during the first week, but I've never done a first day before. So I'm very nervous. I don't know like if there are norms, obviously like this isn't normal. So I think everybody is probably in the same boat, which makes me feel a little bit better, but still it's like, I've never done a first day. I don't know what you're supposed to do. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is gonna be a very interesting day. So I got a Spotify account uh, a few weeks ago, specifically so that I could play music in my classroom. Um, again because I like to do that and if I put it on my uh, computer then I can link it to the projector and then it's more of like a stereo and I don't have to buy a stereo or play music from my phone and I can still have my phone um, and I just updated to premium because when I was here all day yesterday um, <laughs> there would be like random ads in the middle of the song and I didn't know that it did that like at the best part of the song there would be an ad and be like, what are you doing? So I just updated a premium and I just uh, searched in here, classroom playlist, and one came up and it was a queen. Um, so all the songs on there, I'm assuming are clean. I looked through and I didn't see anything that had like the little E next to it. So I just added that to my like playlist or my favorites or whatever it's called. Our 
some buildings like um so yeah i'll probably just use that for a little while until i start making my own playlist uh so i can already check my playlist <laughs> Quick disclaimer, I play with my hair quite a bit in this video. I do it pretty often regardless, but you're going to notice it a lot in this video. It's a nervous habit that I developed when I was a little kid. I would just always grab and play with my hair. And now as an adult, I do it anytime that I'm thinking about something or just like, yeah, anytime I'm thinking about something, you'll see me doing that. So I apologize that it's annoying, but I can't help it. Okay, so I just made my um, mute your mic page. I went ahead and added a couple of other things like to make sure that I can see their face. Um, that way they aren't closing it down. I'll let them know that like if they need to step away or someone comes up and starts talking to them that they can go ahead and turn off their camera, but their camera needs to be on pretty much at all times for me. Um, and that they need to add their name to the chat. I am gonna be recording all of them. I don't have to, but I'm gonna be recording all of them for attendance purposes and just for like my records. So that's done. I can't really find a countdown clock. I am gonna go ahead and just um, have a timer going um, somewhere on my, um, probably on this one, because I'm gonna be presenting from my laptop. Um, so I'll probably have a timer going up here and I think I want to do a quick Google Meet run using my phone and just make sure that I'm good on everything. So we're going to do that and then I'll take you with me because I need to print my rosters. Um, it's 8.33. We're getting really close. Like normally we would have seven more minutes until kids were getting in here because they got off of the buses at 8.40. Um, but now I'm not gonna have kids for like another hour. So I have plenty of time to get all this done, which is weird because now I'm finding extra things to do. So um, yeah, let's do that. Oh, okay. So I didn't get to take you guys with me printing out my roster sheets because I was like panicking during the first part of the morning, like right leading up to it. And I could not figure out, like I had blanked, couldn't figure out how to, um, print out my roster so I had to go ask for help um, and at that time I was rushing to get started 
Um, so right now it is 12.55. We are on lunch. We've been on lunch for about 20 minutes now. Um, and then I have a six period prep, so I won't have kids again until 2.15. So I have a lot of time. I think right now I'm gonna eat some lunch and then I am gonna try and just plan um, for tomorrow. I need to email um, a few teachers because a lot of our kids, like I teach two subjects, so I have a blocked class. I have the same amount of kids for two periods back to back. So I technically only have three sets of kids, but um, yeah, a lot of them were getting really confused. So I have a ton of people that were coming to me when they shouldn't have, they should have been in other classes. So I'm gonna email those teachers just so that they don't mark them absent for today. Um, but yeah, that was very interesting. Um, we'll see how the rest of the day goes. I'm a little bit nervous about seventh period. Um, I didn't get to get to the activity that I wanted. I haven't had like time to because I've just been answering like a lot of questions or like helping with schedules and everything like that. So I think we're going to push that for tomorrow, but this isn't as bad or as scary as I thought it was going to be. It's not as difficult or as tough as I thought it was going to be. It's awkward still. And there's still a lot that I have to learn just with like integrating the technology. But I think, I think by next week I'll be a little bit more comfortable. Um, I'm still super nervous like every time I get on a Google Meet. So I think that will come. Um, but yeah, so far it's actually been a really good first day. Um, it's weird because you don't, I don't get to see all the kids because we teach with Google Meets. We don't use Zoom. Um, they haven't updated yet to where you can see everybody on the call. So I can only see like 16 people at a time. So it's kind of distracting like when Google Meet decides to change like who I'm seeing. And I just get like random flashes of kids. Like that's really weird. But um, I'm talking really quiet because I'm trying to preserve my voice because I essentially just talked for what's 90 plus 90? How many hours is that? I've been talking since 9.30, let's just say that. So, I need to charge my iPad. All right, I'm gonna get something to eat and then I'm gonna plan a little bit for it tomorrow and try and get cleaning knocked out. Um, and then if there's time, I'll give you a room tour. Let's go. I did go outside my room, so I just wanna make sure I'm clean. Also, I'm about to eat, so I should just do the same. One thing I think I need is like a pillow or something because I don't sit all the way back in my chair and now that I'm going to be in my chair all the time for teaching, I think I need to get something that like, I actually want a new chair. I should just buy a new chair instead of just buying something to go in it. Um, okay, so for lunch today I'm having a salad, but um, I brought this yesterday and didn't eat it and I put it in a baggie because I thought that I would just put this in the container that my first part of my lunch was, but I didn't end up eating it. So I took that container home and I forgot to get some um, plastic spoons and plastic forks this morning when I went to Kroger. So I'm just about to dip my salad into my ranch. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and plan some stuff for tomorrow. Um, I'm just like still chewing on some spinach. Um, I don't think I've ever shown you guys my planner, but this is what it looks like. And um, right now I just have flare pens. I think I wanna get the Paper Mates um, pe colored pencils because I got these ones. I shared them on Instagram from Zebra Sensations and they are i think they're more for like drawing because they have a really big like point to them and they aren't the best to uh, write with and they don't really erase that well so i think i'm going to use those more for anchor charts but i think i want to get the paper mates one um so until that happens i am going to go ahead and just use flare pins And I, of course, forgot my tripod and glued it. Um, 
But yeah, so I think tomorrow I need a different color to write to me. I think tomorrow, um, today I've just been going over like expectations and it's been really boring. Um, I've been bored, but I know they've been bored, but this is just, it's just what I had to do today was just go over expectations and everything like that. So I think tomorrow we're going to do an expectations recap. That will probably, I'm going to try and make that like 10 minutes max. Um, and then we're going to do a Nearpod together. <clears throat> um, actually, no. Then I'm going to do um, a get to know you thing. So I'm going to have them like unmute their mic and like I'll call on one person at a time. And just kind of go around, around the room and just have everybody share um, their name, how old they are, and um, their favorite color and a uh, fun fact or like something that they did over summer. Um, I'm estimating I have um, about 30 kids per class. So I'm gonna guess that that's gonna take like 25 to 30 minutes. So we'll put 25 minutes. Um, and that already puts me at 35 minutes and I have 50 minutes and a period. I mean, I have them blocked, but I'm trying to like break it up a little bit. Um, so after we do a meet the students, Okay, so I had to stop recording because my uh, I just met my mentor teacher, so that was really awesome. Um, since this is my first year, I am getting a mentor teacher. She is um, a seventh grade science teacher, so um, she just came in. We talked for a little while, so that was nice. Um, okay, so back to plans for tomorrow, and I'm going to go over some Canvas tutorials. So we use Canvas as our LMS. And I'm just gonna go over, we have some documents that are already made about like, they essentially like go in and it's kind of like a scavenger hunt. They go in and they show me that they know how to do things by submitting assignments. Um, but I wanna show them actually how to do that stuff first. So I'm gonna show them how to um, add a profile picture. I don't have a profile picture on there yet. So that'll be perfect. I can kind of walk them through it. Um, how to change the notifications. I'm going to show them how to um, check for announcements and respond to announcements and to check their inbox messages and to like make inbox messages. Um, how to take a screenshot. I get that question so much. So I'm going to show them how to take a screenshot and put it in a file and either submit it to me or email it to me. Um, I'm going to show them how to upload images, voice recordings, or video recordings. Because depending on, especially because I teach math and science, like there's going to be some stuff where I allow them to make a submission any way that they'd like. So, so by doing that, um, we'll just go over that tomorrow. And then they're going to practice typing math into Canvas, which I need to look at that. So tonight I need to look over those. Um, and then after we do the Canvas tutorials, that'll probably take about 20 minutes, honestly. So that puts me at an hour. Then I'm going to give them another 20 minutes to do the Canvas submissions. I'll give them 25 minutes to do that. And then we'll have a five minute wrap up. Um, if there's any extra time, I might show them how to do Kahoot and we might just do Kahoot games as like our normal finishing off the class. Um, if there's like dead time or anything like that. So I have kids on in about 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the restroom really quick. And then I'll do my last class of the day. And then after that, before I leave, I'll give you guys a room tour as well. This day has just been so insane. I can't believe it. That's a wrap. So I just ended my last class of the day. And guys, it I mean, it was weird. And there's definitely some stuff that I 
we're gonna have to work through and work on but that wasn't nearly as bad or as overwhelming or scary as I thought it was gonna be but for the most part I'm pretty much done and I'm gonna get out of here soon um, I'm just gonna make my checklist for tomorrow and things that um, I need to do for tonight in order to prep for tomorrow um, so let me get some post-its. So the first thing that I need to do, I had all of my kids send in that Google form. I think I already mentioned that. Um, so I'm going to go through on my roster and fill in their preferred pronunciations. That way tomorrow during our activity, I can call them by name and I can actually take attendance that way. Um, because today I just relied on them putting it in the chat because I'm, I'm always very nervous to mispronounce a student's name because people used to mispronounce my name and even my name being Chelsea and it being, it seeming like everybody should understand. Not everybody like reads it that way. And a lot of kids like use that throughout the year to like pick on me. And I just don't want to do that to them. So, um. There's that. I need to, tonight I need to um, go through or make tutorials for my Canvas um, tutorials activity tomorrow. Um, and then I've got a, uh, that'll all be set up tomorrow. Um, and then I'm gonna have a backup activity just in case we get through everything, because we got through everything today and I was just kind of trying to fill some time um, so I'm gonna try and find a backup extra time filler maybe Kahoot um, I might introduce that tomorrow if we have extra time in any one of my classes but those are really all the things that I need to do tonight because I pretty much already planned everything that's gonna happen tomorrow so there's that for tonight. Um, I'll just show you how I have it in my planner really quick. <laughs> so that was teacher work day. That was on Monday. Yesterday, this morning, I just kind of wrote down things that we did. We didn't get to the Nearpod, and I think I'm going to move this Nearpod to Thursday. I think we're going to do that Nearpod on Thursday. And we'll probably do a couple of Nearpod things. But yeah, we're just going to go over expectations. Oh, I need to actually add that. Um, I need to make an expectations, just a recap, like, file. Maybe I'll make it a slideshow so that it's a little bit more interactive. Um, and just kind of making it a little bit fun and going over things. Um, and I might have a way that they can kind of collaborate that as well. Then we're going to do the meet the students thing. Um... We'll take a break and then we'll do the canvas tutorials and then tomorrow I'll plan Thursday. Okay, so I had to go down to the front office because I didn't go to um, te new teacher orientation here at the building because I had already been here and my principal said that I didn't need to, but um, they had gotten everybody gifts and they still wanted me to get mine. So I'm just opening all of this. So this is a mouse pad. Oh, with like a gel, like, resting thing. It's pretty nice. I do have a mouse pad already, but this would be nice. Maybe I'll see in here. Oh, got more office stuff, um, which I already have these in the thing that you're currently sitting on because I left my tripod in Bloomington. So these are just going to go in my storage more pencils. I don't need more pencils. Ooh, controlled application clear glue. That seems interesting. Oh, nice. We got different um, sizes of post-it notes. I might open one of these and keep it on my desk, but for right now, it'll probably just go in the back. And all this stuff I will probably just put away tomorrow because I'm here. Um, looks like I've got some files, so I'll just read through this tonight, because I don't feel like doing it right now. Guys, I was going to buy this at Target. Cute! These will definitely go on my desk, um, especially as the season changes, because these are very fall. 
very fall. So cute. I was gonna buy something like this. Target and I don't have to. And then Did she give me two of these? Okay, well I have two of these. I don't know if she meant to, but I'll just keep it in here for now. Because I'm not going all the way down to the front office tonight. So cute. Okay, love that. Um, put that away. Gun be thrown away. Alright. Really quickly, I'm going to give you guys a room tour. And then we'll get out of here. Because I'm already sitting here, I'll just show you my desk. So, got my computer and everything like that here. Um, and then I have this, um, which is like regular pens. So, these are all black. These are blue. And then it's holding the uh, scissors. Um, and then I have a large file folder there. I got this. I think I got this from... Home Goods or TJ Maxx last year. I got this from Target last year. It was on sale. Um, and then I've shown this before, at least on my Instagram, but I just got it all filled. So I have my colored pencils that I'll use for anchor charts, markers I'll use for anchor charts, Sharpies, highlighters, bigger anchor chart Sharpies, fine liners, uh, flare pens, I've got the big binder clips. Um, I have liquid whiteout and the like tape whiteout. I've got adhesive um, and then a glue stick. I've got my colored uh, different size paper clips and binder clips and then all of this is like post-its and that kind of stuff. So that's all in there. And then over here, I just have a bin um, for whenever we come back in or I have files or something. Um, and then <laughs> just like random stuff here. You guys have seen that. That is going to be going because I don't like it and I'm gonna put that up, but I didn't feel like doing that today. I'm gonna keep my um, gray race markers here so black and blue are in one and then all of my colors are in this one i saw on tiktok i think that you're supposed to store these facing down so that it dries out slower so i did that whenever i have kids back in this is where the pencil sharpener would go because i have an outlet right there i have three so one will go here and then i'll probably put um two in the back and then I decided that this is all going to be like for students. None of the stuff in here is really for me except for what's in here right now. So in here I have all of my um, expo supplies. So I'm pretty set. I have expo, expo supplies um, and then also some like chalk. And then this is just extra storage containers if I need it. In this drawer, I just have nurse passes, band-aids, and then hall passes. I'm gonna just let them like grab one, fill it out for me, and then I will sign it. In here, just like daily stuff that they might need. Again, whenever we come back, if this is allowed. Um, but lined paper, pencils, two calculators, whiteout, uh, post-its, tape, staples, erasers. Um, markers, there are skinny and regular markers, scissors, and colored pencils. Um, Sharpies, highlighters, glue, post-its, again, um, and some index cards. And then in this one is just some big tape in case they need tape. And then, I've shown you this already, but I just added a little bit added these flowers they're fake flowers but i added that and then i found some beads so i just put that in there put up the fixed mindset poster there and then the growth one is down there i'll show you that in a second this is going to be again when they come back where i have like the agenda for both subjects and the i can statements and the objectives the growth mindset poster that is there because my roof leaks so they just put it into that draining sink I put my poster up. I love it. Um, and then I put, I had these from my last classroom. The teacher before me left them, 
uh, so I just took them off and I just put them up. They have a ton of um, motivational sayings on them and I thought it would look cute there. So put that there. Eventually when the kids come back, I'm gonna have this table be like a little station. So I just have some uh, trays there. This is not done yet. This will be it's, uh, a project that I don't need to do anytime soon, but that will be like where I keep my anchor charts and stuff for both subjects, but that'll be a while till I get that done. Um, the front of my room, I put one of those up there, but I just don't know if I'm gonna want that entire thing to be filled with those because they're borders that I bought from Target. If you haven't seen that haul video, um, I'll link it for you, but they all say the same thing and I don't know if I wanna have that repeated. So I'm gonna figure out something else for up there. And then that stuff right there is some um, banner and I'm gonna string that in the front of my room later this week. So I'll go to the back room. Oh, I did this. So this is a work in progress. These, um, I'm gonna print out pictures of like my family and everybody later tonight. Um, maybe if I go to CVS tonight and hang those up there. And then I just have a weekly plan. I got that from TJ Maxx as well. And then I just have some more border. I don't know what to put right here. If you have suggestions of what should go like right here, because right now it looks very bare, but I don't know what to put there. Okay, um, not much has changed in here. Um, in here, all that's changed is literally nothing. So if you haven't seen my last video, go check that out. This has changed a little bit. So it's just a little bit more organized now. Um, I've got some more containers and stuff, so just put that away. We just got these at our department meeting today. They are whiteboards with coordinate planes. I want to say the other side is blank, uh, but I got 30 of them, which probably won't be enough when my kids come back, but I can just buy one more pack. That will be fine. Um, I put this here. I don't know what its purpose is going to be, but I just put it up for now. Here I've just got like some extra notebooks and stuff, um, binder, uh, tabs, folders, stuff like that. I don't know um, what I will use them for, so I might just have them as storage for when kids come back if they need supplies. And then just office supplies, adhesive, so I've got glue and tape in here. Uh, post-its, other label stuff, and then just random stuff. Sharpies, more writing utensils and rubber bands. I have so many supplies. Um, extra of those uh, binder, or not binder, those uh, file folders. And then I have these. I got this from the dollar store. They're the file holders. I don't know what I wanna do with them yet, but I do wanna use them. Um, all of these are pencils. These are boxes of pencils. Um, these are file folders. And then, I don't know what those are, but they don't look appropriate. Um, and then I show you guys all of that stuff. Nothing has changed down there. In here, um, I just got some random stuff that I didn't have anywhere else to put. I have so many of these one punch hole punches and then just like some random bowls, lanyards, and then Monica's closet. Um, but yeah, that is it for everything. I haven't put anything in there. That'll be a while. And then um, this little thing, I actually think that I'm going to be keeping my bag um, and my purse and keys and stuff on this. Um, and I'll just hang my coat up. And then I've got this for like files that I need to be kept back here because the store locks. So if I need to keep stuff back here, I will. Yeah. All right, guys, it is now 416. So it is time for me to get out of here. Um, but I just wanted to close out this video by saying thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed coming with me on my first day vlog. 
Um, it actually turned out to be a really good day and I will be vlogging the rest of the week and just giving some updates so you'll have another video later on this weekend because um, this one's going up on Wednesday. Uh, that was it for this one guys. Make sure you drop a comment and tell me the peak of your day. The peak of my day was being able to see all of my kids and knowing that this isn't going to be as bad as I thought it was. It was not as stressful and it didn't feel like my kids were too stressed out. So just kind of trying to keep that pace is going to be my goal from here on out. So drop a comment and make sure that I know the peak of your day. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more and I'll see you in my next one. Okay, bye.